Welcome to Easy Styling in Canvas, Part C, where we look at how to add color to backgrounds in the Canvas HTML editor. In Easy Styling in Canvas, Part B, you saw how to use a color palette and hex codes to add color to fonts using the style declaration. This same declaration is used to add color to any part of your Canvas page. It's all a matter of where you place it. To add color backgrounds to columns, headers, or tabbed page navigation, we put the style declaration in the opening tags of the column, header, and tab list items. For example, in this two-column layout, I want contrast between the columns. To keep them visually distinct, shading one column with color provides this contrast. To do that, I add to the style declaration for the column. In the HTML editor, we see the two columns in their diff tags. I want a color background in the first column, so I extend the style declaration after the semicolon by typing background color, colon, and then the hex code for my color palette. This is the form used for all color backgrounds in any opening tag. The only thing that changes is the hex code. Now, let's look at the column after saving. Well, that certainly contrasts, but it's too dark, and I can't read the text easily. So, I'll use the lightest shade of this color for my palette. Paste it into place in the HTML editor, then click Save. Still too dark. I need to extend the range of shades on my color palette. That's simple. Going back to Paletten, the color palette generator you saw in the last video, I paste the lightest shade into the color wheel, and voila. Lots of lighter shades, also called tints. We'll try the lightest tint. Copy it here. Paste it there, and click Save. OK, that works. Enough contrast to make them visually distinct, with readable text in the colored column. Another place we use color backgrounds is to frame content with a header bar. On this resources page, each column is a subtopic of classroom strategies and management, strategies on the left, and management on the right. Now it needs the headings. For a single topic, with two subtopics in columns, I want a single, two-column header across the columns, each with its own column color. To do that in the HTML editor, I'll make a two-column container with a color background for each column, and put my headings inside of that. And finally, add background color to the columns. In each column's opening diff tag, I type style equals background color, and then the hex code. And these are dark colors, so I'll need white fonts for contrast. Save, and that's just what I want. The last place we'll use background color in this video is for tab page navigation. The default tab page container in Canvas is a simple tab row in a thin gray outline format. And this works well. Sometimes though, it's good to emphasize tabs wherever a quick glance might overlook them as a line of text or links. When that's the case, it's easy to add background color to the tab row. This page has four tabs and might work fine as is because the video and columns frame the tab page and should draw attention to the tabs. Just to be sure though, I'll add color to the tab row in the HTML editor. Here is the unordered list that forms the tab row in the tab page container. To add background color to the list, we simply style the unordered list tag. In the opening tag, I type style equals quotation marks background color, colon, and then the hex code for a light gray. Finish with a semicolon and quotation marks, select save, and that looks good. The color covers the background of the tab row to form a visual block with distinct tabs. Clean, simple, clear, just what it needed. And that's all it takes to add color to backgrounds in Canvas. So, let's review our key points. Add color to backgrounds with a background color style declaration. Put the style declaration in the opening tag of the styled element. Always check contrast of any text on colored backgrounds for accessibility. To add color to columns, style the columns opening diff tag. To add color to headers, style the headers opening diff tag. And to add color to tab navigation, style the unordered list tag.
Now that you're familiar with styling different page layouts in Canvas, you're ready for Part D of Easy Styling in Canvas, where we look at how to locate, crop, and size images for a Canvas course, using nothing more than your web browser and a free image editor. We'll see you there.